So how do you feel like your workout went today? Really well. Uh, got a chance to get up and down, uh, show some ball handling, and uh, good decisions out of the pick and roll. And uh, is this your first time visiting Toronto, and what are your thoughts of the city? Uh, second time visiting Toronto. Uh, great city. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, had a good experience here. And were you able to follow the Raptors' playoff runs? Did yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. did you think about their uh, their run in the playoffs? I think they're 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 right there. Uh, you know, they battled Cleveland. Uh, they got the whole city involved. Uh, good personnel. So uh, I think they're literally one step away from getting to where they want to be. <laughs> that was the intensity of, of today's workout. You're smiling as you talk about getting up and down. Was mm -hmm. it was it an intense? Oh, uh, nah. You know, uh, we do a lot of a lot of stuff to prepare, so the up and down gets uh, fun. You know, uh, just being in shape and uh, and that's a major key coming into these workouts. So that's something I made sure I was prepared of. And you know, it's basketball. Basketball is a lot of fun. So we had a lot of fun today. What number of workout is this for you? This is my 12th. 12. 12. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you feeling 12 <laughs> I did a good job of taking a break, like, in the middle. You know, uh, I got, like, probably three or four more left. But uh, I'm trusting the, the off-season condition I've been doing before these uh, workouts and so far is getting me by. What has been the hardest part? Is it the travel or just mentally taking the break or keeping yourself focused as it goes on and on? Uh, it's all about finding new challenges. Uh, me, I like to challenge myself, so uh, I try to go into a workout thinking about dominating, but also having a goal in mind. And uh, today was defense and pick and roll. That was the two things I wanted to focus on today. Um, yeah, that's all I got. When you, when you have 12 workouts, are you are there certain guys that you're seeing at different stops more, more than once? Are you crossing paths with some of the same guys? Absolutely. Uh, Troy has been in 80% of my workouts, <laughs> so you start to see uh, who you get compared with and who you got to beat out for certain spots. And uh, and Troy's my guy. You know, uh, being in so many of these workouts, we develop the relationship. So it's just a good experience on and off the court. What are the biggest things that you would want um, a front office or a coaching staff to know about not just what you can do, you know, on the floor, but but away from the floor? What would you want them to know? That I'm a winner and I like to get better. Uh, that's two things uh, I really enjoy doing, and um, I like to have fun as well. So that's like my top three things I want people to know about me. Does it feel like the process has gone fast? I mean, you're about a week away from draft night. Does it feel like it's gone quick, or has it been a long? journey <laughs> it's been a long journey uh you know i've learned so many things throughout this whole trip or process and uh it's helping me get better each and every time so i'm appreciating the whole thing have you had anyone to talk to throughout it like who has gone through this before yeah uh, being from syracuse there's a lot of guys in the nba so uh jeremy grant's my guy for the sixers and i was working out with him uh, before i actually got here so you know he gives me a lot of inside scoop on like uh the next step after this and going forward. So I'm uh, fortunate enough to have that.